All right, Brush Monkeys, we are back, and this week we are painting the Dark Watcher from uh, um, Reaper Bones. I think this is a Reaper Bones black figure. Um, as you can see, I've already got him Zenithal primed and all that. Uh, this guy, I thought, I, I know he's kind of the, um, he's one of Reaper's uh, Beholder knockoffs, because they can't use the word Beholder, so they got to call him a Dark Watcher, and he kind of looks like a Dark Watcher, but I thought... With the horn, the way his horns are here, and the eyes and the big old mouth going on there, he kind of looks like one of the uh, cacodemons from Doom. So that's kind of how I'm going to paint him. And I had this color scheme all worked out for him, and then I decided I'm going to do something entirely different. Um, uh, he's going to do mostly in contrast paints and and technical paints and things like that. So he's going to going to go by fairly quick. But I'm going to use Flesh Terror's red for most of him, and I'm going to dry brush that with a little bit of uh, Astarath red, just kind of brighten him up a little bit in places. His, uh, the inside of his mouth is going to be a mix of Le Leviathan blue and Ultramarines blue because uh, much like the purples, I was originally going to paint it with Shias purple and Megas purple mixed, but like the purples, those blues are, are kind of, n neither one of them are quite what I'm looking for, like Leviathan blue is a little too dark and Ultramarines blue is a little too light, so it's going to be like a three to one mix of ultramarines to leviathan blue for the inside of the mouth and then to get that <coughs> excuse me to get that um, OSL effect of him breathing you know when they bur the cacodemons breathe out those little energy balls to get the OSL effect of that I'm, I've got emmerich blue skink blue and praxetti white dry brush that I'll be doing just around the innermost part of his mouth to kind of give it that little glow extra glow look. His eye is going to be a tesseract glow with a black pupil on it and then his horns and teeth are going to be a sabti bone with an agrax earth wash and then screaming skull um, layered on top of that and then his whole basing here is going to be uh, basilicum gray with the dawnstone dry brush. I got that dawnstone there we go. So yeah, I think he's going to be a fairly quick little paint. Um, a lot of the time here is going to be spent waiting for the um, waiting for one layer or the other to dry. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the inside of his mouth. You know how I, I tend to work from the inside out and work from like skin to clothing. Normally I do the the skin first, but he's got these little parts here are going to going to be blue, and I don't want them to get in the way of the red of the overall rest of it so I, I want to get the blue out of the way first and get his mouth done first so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then uh, when we come back we'll see how his mouth looks and then we'll uh, move on right so see you soon bye alright brush monkeys so as you can see I've got the basilicum gray on his base and I've got the inside of his mouth done all nice and dark blue um, it looks like there's a little, couple little spots that I missed but those are the teeth that are inside his mouth See his teeth along the edge there, and like I said, those in the horns are going to be um, a sub to bone agrax and uh, screaming skull. But those have to wait until I do the outside of it, and the outside of it has to wait until the inside of blue and the basilicum gray dry. So I'm going to take a little break and let those contrast paints dry, and then we'll come back and uh, paint some more on them. All right? So uh, I will see you soon. <laughs> All right, brush monkey. So as you can see, I got the um, flesh hair is red painted on him, and now he's really starting to look like one of the cacodemons from Doom. He looks pretty good. Um, I gotta let that dry before I could do a whole lot else. I also got just a little bit of uh, flesh hair is red on the eyeball, so I'm gonna clean that up with some Army Painter Matte White before I do the Tesseract Glow, and I think that'll help that glow pop a little bit too. So I'm going to take a break and let the uh, flesh hair is red dry because as you can see it's still wet. I literally just got done with it. And then, um, yeah, with with that, the basilicum gray and the blue on the inside of the mouth, he is largely done. I just have the horns and the eyes left to do. Uh, like I said, he was going to be a really quick little paint. Um, do the horns, the eye, the uh, teeth, and the uh, OSL on the inside of the mouth, which... We'll get to doing all the dry brushing all at once, so <laughs> it'll, 
will be kind of interesting. Um, for right now, like I said, I'm going to let the test, let the flush tires red dry, and then we'll come back and uh, get the painting on his eye, horns, and teeth. All right, see you soon. Bye. All right, brush monkeys. I've got the horns, teeth, and eyes, eye based. I keep wanting to say eyes, <laughs> eye based, and our little. Uh, Cacodemon Dark Watcher Doomball guy here is coming along really nicely. Um, I really like how it's turning out so far. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, Agrax on the horns and teeth and do the Tesseract Glow in the eye. And then uh, all that's left will be all the dry brushing to be done. So, yeah, he's coming along pretty nicely. We'll go ahead and do those shade washes, and then we'll uh, come back and see how it looks. All right? See you soon. Bye. All right, brush monkeys. As you can see, we're coming real close to getting done with our little doom ball here. I have uh, painted, excuse me, layered and highlighted the horns, so you can see where the shade wash down here at the base kind of blends up into the bishop bone and the screaming skull at the very tip. Tipped all the teeth. The Screaming Skull highlighted all of them, so they all stand out now. Painted his little iris and even painted a little light spot, a little reflection spot there. So he's looking pretty good. Now, uh, all that's left really is the dry brushing stage. Um, dry brushing the red on the body and the uh, blue OSL in the mouth. So I might do a little bit of the uh, Emmerich blue just right here along the sides. I was just to differentiate, excuse me, right here along the sides, <laughs> trying to keep stuff on camera here. But, um, yeah, for the most part, he's getting pretty close to being done. I'm pretty happy with him. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here and uh, get started on the dry brushing. All right, see you soon. Bye. All right, boys and girls, there's our finished Dark Watcher Doom Ball. Hacker Demon looking guy from uh, Reaper Miniatures. He looks really spiff. I really like how it came out. The dry brushing I think really looks good on all that texture and everything. Um, I gloss coated his eye and the inside of his mouth too to kind of give it a sort of wet look that uh, contrasts nicely with the the rest of it and the rock and everything. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with how he came out. He looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and call this guy done. And we'll wrap it up for this week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Hey, Brush Monkeys, Tom from Flying Monkey Studios here. If you like what you see, click like down below. Um, if you want to be notified when new videos come out, click subscribe. And uh, in the meantime, if you want to see how to add one of the miniatures that we've painted on this channel to your own collection, check out our Instagram, uh, Tumblr, and uh, Patreon sites. Uh, if you want to support, support us in doing what we do, check out my Patreon site. Check out my uh, merch store at storefrontier.com slash flymonkeystudios. You can get t-shirts, sweatshirts, uh, long sleeve shirts, hoodies, all kinds of stuff there. Um, go check that out and uh, in the meantime thanks for watching and I will see you next week bye